All right, guys. It is another spectacularly gorgeous day. Well, at least gorgeous morning in paradise. <clears throat> Before the rain moves in uh, here on this lovely, it is a Saturday morning, February 11th. And I am down here in uh, Sulha, Chulha, Mexico on the banks of Laguna Bacalar looking at various housing options. Do I want to spend three months here <coughs> next year? So I just met this gringo who looks very much like a younger version of me. So he and his wife, they're here for two months and are paying 550 a month for a nice two bedroom house. He did say there was a little efficiency apartment. Did not know the price of. So, uh, I'm just checking out the various little public parks. So, <clears throat> this one right here seems to be clean. I mean, it's still early in the morning on Saturday, so at least people are making some effort to uh, put their uh, damn bottles up. So, uh, so yesterday, you know, I was going up to want this, you know, the corresponding place up the lake shore yesterday so you know it's Friday afternoon going down there to uh, relax in paradise and I'm a block away I'm one block away from the lake shore and I start to hear this fucking music going and uh, I'm he hearing this goddamn music is the uh, shitty diaper right by the lake we have a shitty diaper I'm not gonna pick that up so I get there so of course there's this family <clears throat> you know in the middle of this public little park with their fucking radio blasted as high as it will go as loud as it will go they're about three feet from their uh, they're about three feet from their ears, this radio screaming. Uh, so everyone else in the park can, uh, can listen to their radio station. Although I didn't notice anyone who seemed to have any problem uh, with the music and the awful <clears throat> quality of it. So, I get there, and as soon as I get there, this nice young couple with very clean energy come up on a motorcycle with a six-pack of beer. So, they're sitting in the shade. They're not on, they don't come up on the dock with me. Uh, so, they're sitting in the shade and they start drinking their six pack of beer. You know, this very nice looking, uh, well-dressed young couple, uh, clearly, uh, you know, had some money and whatnot. And so while I'm sitting on the dock, they're sitting there splitting a six pack of beer that they brought in, then they are 20 feet, 20 feet, from the, uh, this is your home. Uh, something like, this is your home. A clean home is a nice home. They sit there, they drink their six pack of beer <clears throat> in about less than 30 minutes, cause you know, the beer was getting hot. Then what do you think they do? They set down the six pack, the empty six pack, uh, 30 feet from the sign 
get on their motorcycle and leave. Hola, buenos dias. Here's how we mow the grass in Mexico in a, <laughs> with a machete. So, uh, so they leave, and then this other uh, very nice couple, probably in their 30s, comes and joins me on the dock. A uh, Mexican couple joins me on the dock, and uh, so the three of us are hanging out on the dock. I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes, and finally the goddamn family leaves. Finally the family leaves, shuts off that fucking radio, and we have some peace and quiet for the first time all day. And that lasts about 45 seconds for the, I see. Beautiful young woman approaching. So that lasts about 45 seconds. And then the woman, you know, on the dock with me, she turns on her cell phone and turns on the music. Hola, buenos días. Oh, uh, Laguna, the secret Laguna. And so she turns on her cell phone. So now I'm sitting on the dock listening to the cell phone music playing 10 feet from me. And then probably 10 minutes later, uh, another group comes back where the other family just left. They get uh, out of their car, and the first thing they do is they turn on their radio. Which, of course, does not convince the woman on the dock with me to turn off her radio. So now I've got one cell phone radio uh, 10 feet away from me and 50 feet away from me. I have yet another radio cranking up, and that is when I said, fuck this, and got up and left. And of course, when I'm so, I'm uh, packing up to get the fuck out of there, and then what comes racing down the lake with this screaming motor is this fucking gringo on a motherfucking jet ski. There's a goddamn gringo. Uh, just opening up, hola perro, opening up his uh, jet ski. <sighs> I guess this hotel, they, uh, you know, you see this all the time in Latin America, uh, where they get this far along in a uh, in a construction project and then just walk away from it <sighs> so they went in here and destroyed this gorgeous piece of lakefront property to build this fucking concrete block monstrosity and then walk away from it <sighs> fucking concrete blocks Say then, day. All right. What do you think? Should I buy this place? I guess there's a house down there. So, amigo, este propio dad se vende? No. Okay, no perros bravos. And I'm going to go check out this little piece of paradise, do some end times real estate shopping.